Hey, Jimmy Beach here with Alien Skin Software. This video is about using layer masks in Photoshop. This is mainly a Photoshop tutorial, even though I do use our plugins. I'm using a shot from David Meesey. He's a fashion and beauty photographer who shot for just about everything from Forbes to Playboy. I'm going to apply an effect with exposure and use a layer mask to tweak the look in Photoshop. I'll open exposure and I'll choose a factory preset. I like the color casts that the Polaroid 600 presets have, but cyan can mess with the skin. Press the spacebar to view the original image. See how the skin looks a little damaged and sickly? I'll press OK to apply the effect. Exposure will render out the results on a new layer. A layer mask is a powerful tool inside of Photoshop. Let's use one to fix the skin. Right here in the Layers panel, I'll press the Add Layer Mask button. This produces a little white box in the Layers panel next to the image. That's your mask. Layer masks are a visual transparency toggle. They show you where your layer is on or off. Anything black in the mask will hide pixels, and anything white will show pixels. Shades between black or white affect the layer's opacity. Let's put this to use. I'm going to load a selection that I made previously. If you need help making selections, check out the Selections in Photoshop video on our website. Once the selection is loaded, I'll press B for the brush tool. This is a large brush with 0% hardness. I have the properties of this brush set to 100% opacity, and I'm using solid black as the color. I'll quickly brush over the selection. See how the model changes color? When I release the mouse, you will see a black silhouette in the layer mask. We're hiding the effect layer where it's black. I'll deselect with Command or Control D. Now I'm going to turn the opacity of my brush down and paint in some of the original photo on the edges and in the center. There, see how the mask is updated? Let's take a look at what we've done to the effect layer. Right click on the mask and choose Disable Layer Mask. It will display a big red X over the mask in the Layers panel. We can enable the mask by left clicking on the mask again. I'll toggle the layer visibility to see what I've done to the image. Our SnapArt and Boca products have special mask tools built in. We have videos devoted to these tools, but I'll give you a quick introduction. The layer masks in SnapArt let you tweak the effect parameters. Instead of only hiding the effect, you can modify its behavior in a specific location. The mask tools in Boca are simplified and easy to use. You will not need to make any selections in Photoshop if you use these. If you want to learn more about using Boca or SnapArt, there are plenty of tutorials specific to each product on our website, alienskin.com. That's all for the Layer Mask Basics video. This is Jimmy Beach. Thanks for watching.